Hi, I am Shogat Roy. Today I am going to discuss a hypothesis article, Paracrine Signaling Mediated at Cell-Cell Contact. This hypothesis is strongly supported by recent scientific evidences, which showed that paracrine signal exchange and transport depends on specialized signaling philopodia called cytonemes. The signaling philopodia establish contact between cells and targets cell-to-cell -cell paracrine signal exchange to synaptic contacts. Paracrine signals are secreted proteins that spread away from producing cells and act at a distance by binding to receptors on target cells. One example of paracrine signal is DPP, a TGA beta homologue in Drosophila. It is expressed in rows of anterior cells that flank the AP compartment border of wing imaginal disc and patterns the disc into adult wing. DPP disperses away from the source and distributes in concentration gradients to activate threshold dependent response in the recipient cells. The classical model of paracrine signaling assumes that signals like DPP disperse by free diffusion. However, recent discovery that cells use cytonemes to send and receive signals suggests a radically different mechanism for signal dissemination. Philopodia are thin actin based cellular extensions that have been observed in many different cell types. Cytonemes are specialized signaling philopodia. They were first discovered in Drosophila larval wing imaginal discs in Professor Kornberg's lab at UCSF. DPP recipient cells, when marked by GFP, were shown to project cytonemes oriented toward the DPP source. The cytonemes were shown to localize DPP receptor and respond specifically to DPP. To our surprise, we found that these cytonemes establish direct membrane contact with DPP source. All these observations suggest a role of cytoneme-mediated contact in DPP signaling. Direct evidence for a role of cytonemes in DPP trafficking has been obtained from air sac primordium or ASP, a precursor of adult air sac. ASP is a larval tracheal branch associated with wing imaginal disc. Two paracrine signals, DPP and FGF, that are produced in wing disc control the growth and differentiation of ASP. ASP extends two types of signal-specific cytonemes. One of them contains DPP receptor and synapses with DPP signal source in wing disc. Another contains FGF receptor and synapses with FGF-producing disc cells. Our experiments convincingly showed that the DPP receptor containing ASP cytonemes establish contact with the DPP source in wing disc. The cytonemes directly receive DPP in a contact-dependent manner and transport the signal from the source to the recipient cells. DPP reception and signaling in the ASP cells get affected when cytonemes are not capable of establishing contact with DPP source. These analyses conclusively showed that cytonemes are essential conduits for moving signaling proteins from source to target cells, and paracrine signals like DPP are exchanged at cell-cell contact. Experiments that were performed to support diffusion-based signal transport did not mark cytonemes with fluorescent proteins and did not preserve the conditions that will allow cytonemes to be imaged. I present one example. Extracellular matrix is known to be important for hedgehog signal transport. In Drosophila wing imaginal disc, hedgehog is expressed in the posterior cells as shown in blue color. Hedgehog receptor patched is expressed in anterior cells as shown in brown. It was shown that mutant Drosophila cells that cannot synthesize proteoglycans are deficient for signal uptake and signaling. Not only that, genetically normal cells that are separated from hedgehog source by mutant territory do not receive hedgehog and are signaling deficient. These observations have been interpreted as functional evidence for a restricted diffusion-based mechanism of dispersion. Recent studies characterized two types of cytonemes that are involved in hedgehog signaling. 
One group of cytonyms carry and deliver hedgehog from hedgehog producing cells to recipient anterior cells. Another group of cytonyms extend from recipient cells to the hedgehog source and carry hedgehog receptor patched. It was shown that hedgehog carrying cytonyms from posterior cells do not project and cross over the HSPG deficient mutant territory. This finding suggests that the essential role of the HSPGs for hedgehog signaling in the wing disc is to provide a substrate for the cytonyms that track over the surface of the disc cells. These results also suggest that the cytonyme mediated signaling can explain many of the experimental observations that were interpreted to support diffusion based mechanism of signal transport. Recent studies have identified specialized signaling philopodia or cytonyms in many invertebrate and vertebrate tissues. The widespread presence of cytonyms in many cell types and in many signaling contexts suggests that they may provide a general mechanism to move paracrine signaling proteins. This discovery that philopodia move paracrine signaling proteins between cells adds a new dimension to the mechanism of paracrine signal transport.